Um, so, I made a little template for Splunky, and I'm going to show you how to use it. Uh, it'll, it'll help you make a custom character, and it's, it's not going to take all of the work out of it. It's, it's just going to hopefully speed things up just a little bit for you. And so if you download the file that I'll be linking in the description, uh, you'll, you'll find a zip file that contains these two uh, files. So one is the character head template and then the character template. The character template looks like this. It's, it's the skin I made of myself. And um, the way it's, it's set up is, is as follows. So here you've got like uh, the background layer and first of all if, if you're gonna save the file, the final file, you need to not have the background layer active or else it's gonna not look good. You're gonna have a white background surrounding the character and you will need to have this transparency fix layer of like just black 1% color um, activate it. Um, and just like for working on the custom skin, you'll you'll want to have like the background layer on, so it's just a little bit easier to see what you're doing compared to like Photoshop's transparency chest grid. Um, the file is, is just set up like a standard Spelunky skin, uh, 1024 by 1024, and like it's based on the default Spelunker, uh, which you can see here, and you can use that as reference uh, and just show it or not show it, you know, just if, if you're looking for a reference. As you can tell, like, the body itself is, is, is just the same, it's just a recolored version. And here is, like, a uh, border reference um, by Bay. Uh, from the Moss Mouth forums. Uh, thank you for making that. Um, it was a lot of help. Basically, you'll not want to cross these borders. Your character can, like, stand into the border just a tiny bit, uh, but you definitely don't want to cross the border or else it's gonna look bugged out in the animation frame. So, um, now to get actually into the nitty-gritty of things. I hope um, you're, you're fluent in, in Photoshop, otherwise this is probably going to be a bit difficult. Um, you know, just if, if there's something you don't understand, feel free to ask a question in the comments, or ask me on Twitter, or, you know, just look up a Photoshop tutorial. But basically, the way I've got it set up is like, I've got all these folders here, and there's a folder for a body, and um, this is where where the template is just from from the default Spelunker skin. Uh, and the way I've got it set up is like I've got individual colors in here in this folder, um, and as you can see, if I deactivate that, just the default skin under there is just plain white. So you can go in there and you can just select whatever skin uh, you want and you can just like select any, any kind of skin, um, the character color that's for the ghost, you can make a green ghost if you want, you can just double click uh, this layer and all of these layers and you can change the color to whatever you want it to be. So let's say um, you want like darker skin, uh, you'll, you'll see that reflected, uh, and keep in mind that you can change the layer settings. Uh, my Photoshop interface is, is in German, so hopefully that won't throw you off too much. The default setting for hands is color, but obviously, for example, if you want a darker skinned character, you can change it to multiply, and that way you'll have like the darker skin uh, color that you picked overlaid over the shading that's still there from the default uh, uh, Spelunker skin uh, 
white it out. So basically, uh, yeah, the same goes for the jacket, whatever. Um, obviously, for example, if you want like a more uh, crazy contrast or whatever, you can just copy the, the same selection I have here for the jacket, for example, um, just by pressing control and clicking the mask. And then you could, for example, just go make a new uh, layer with uh, the curves and then like edit that to be brighter or even darker or just have a more extreme contrast. You know, whatever you want. You already have that selection there for the entire sprite sheet and you can just like select every time the shirt shows up by pressing control on the mask for the shirt, the pants, the shoes, or the jacket. Obviously, like, if you want to use a different uh, spelunky, uh, spelunky skin as a basis for the body, you'll have to, you know, just copy that in there and, and work with it yourself. But this is the, the body that was used for most of the skins in the game, so that's the one I used for this template. And so I hope that works out for you. Uh, the, re the rest uh, of the... Uh, Thing is set up is uh, as you can see I have all these different heads here and um, what it is is our linked uh, linked files uh, and I mean I'm just gonna switch over to the character head uh, file and as you can see I set it up in a much higher resolution than than it is here and that's just because I think that makes it a lot easier to work on it uh, and just have the final thing sized down for you but still be able to edit finer details as you want them to. Um, one thing you're gonna have to keep in mind uh, if, you're, if you're editing this is that I have it set up so that pretty much every uh, every head is, is set up on the same location like the same basic uh, outline which is like uh, as you can see like the the right the, the very left corner here of, of the, the ear it stays pretty much the same even as you know the head changes so even if you change like the facial shape you, you'll want to uh, switch that out um, um, the, you'll, you'll want to have it stay at that same position uh, obviously, like if you have a more narrow head, uh, you can have that too. If you have a more round or, or wide head, uh, just the thing to keep in mind again is is the border uh, here, and um, if you if you have a more narrow head, then then this skin is set up. Um, then you can also just go in there and, for example, just select all the head layers and then like move it up a little bit or move it down, you know, depending on how high or, or what shape the, the skin for your head is. Um, but just to go in here real quick uh, and just to show you the basics, um, you'll be able to mess with these files as you want, but basically let's say uh, I want to make like now a, a darker skinned character um, just to match with the darker skinned uh, hand color that I picked earlier, you can just go in here and just like edit that. Um, you can obviously like also just go in uh, for for the hair. And let's say we would just want to recolor that. You can just like mess around as as you want in in the. Um, accidentally change the transparency no big deal but yeah you can just go in here change the color of the default base color you can change the shading or obviously I'm sure you'll want like a different uh, color for your character not just a different color but also a different style so you can just uh, do whatever but let's just quickly make a change here uh, and then switch back 
uh, to showing you how you implement that uh, in in the bigger file just like to set up a little bit of a difference so you can actually see that difference um, okay so let's say this is what we want and now we're gonna have to save this as just a standard default PNG file so you can just save for web or save as and save as a PNG doesn't really matter the final outcome will be the same and now uh, if you're here in this template uh, just save it into the same folder where you have those Photoshop files and then just save it as character head and in this instance just look at the uh, the default layer um, name the for the folder that I picked just to help you figure it out a bit because if you're looking for the same name uh, in, in, in the two files it'll just make it a bit easier if it's named the same but you can name it whatever you want frankly uh, so we've got that saved and now we're gonna go into has standard and you'll see this file here just shows that there's a file that's um, um, yeah placed in Photoshop and you'll open it up and you'll see there's also a folder copies and it, as you see the, the standard head is has quite a lot of instances of it and just a special animated version of the head or the ones with different expressions are much less common all right um so uh you'll have the character head the standard one that you saved and you'll want to re replace it with the new file uh, that you saved just now and just right click on this first instance you don't have to worry about the copies that's just going to be updated automatically just right click on here and uh, my interface is in German but in English it should be something like replace file or, or just find a new file I think it should be replace file like yeah but uh, once you have that then just select the standard head and boom and you have that updated across the whole skin wherever that same instance of the head is, is placed um, and yeah that's pretty much it if if you want to keep changing it then just like keep looking at all these different ones um, this is for the head wanted poster I like to make it look crazy like the shopkeeps can't draw very well um, but yeah um, as you can see like the elements here are are kind of the same and I just copied and moved them around there there's obviously a few shortcuts you can take and just like copying common elements and then transforming them instead of redrawing everything from scratch but obviously just choose whatever process works for you best um, just a few more things to keep in mind real quick for the ghost I set it up in a way that the standard ghost mouth is just gonna be the same and the only thing that's carried over is like as you can see ears eyes nose and the hair obviously you can set it up however you want if you want to edit like the, the mouth itself then you'll have to you'll have to do that manually but yeah this is just like a little way to hopefully speed up the process of making custom characters in Spelunky and again uh, once you're done um, just deactivate that background layer then save it as a PNG file with the transparency fixed layer left on and um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, if you're if you're gonna import it into the game it's best to use patch Lunky, which I'm gonna link to in the description and yeah hopefully this helps if you have any questions again just just leave a comment or ask me on Twitter and uh, have fun making custom characters oh and, and one more final thing um, the way I've got it set up is you'll notice there's some layer masks on some of the the head folders here and that is um, if if a hand for example goes over the face yeah so that's basically yeah you don't have to worry about that but for example if you want to have completely different hands for your character than, than these then yeah you're, you're, you might have to edit that anyway yeah I can't think of anything else so have fun with this all right see ya